Hi, this is Dean Allen from GeeksWithGunsOnline.com. People have often asked me how I take such great pictures of my guns. And here is the answer. To create great photos, you must use the proper tools. I use the Canon T3i with a surrounding flash, as you might see in CSI and other programs. For pistols, I use this flash box with a blue backdrop. You can use the gray black drop, they, they come with both. You can usually get these for about $30, even at Walmart. Then the most expensive part is for developing and uh, cropping this photos. I use Aperture on a MacBook Pro or an iMac. You can also use iPhoto, and they do have some Windows Photo programs, but I found Aperture to be the easiest and the best to do, use. I chose these two guns because of the contrast and colors, matte and shiny finishes, and everything else. The best way to keep these guns, get these guns ready is with a microfiber cloth to get all the grease and oil off of them and Q-tip swabs. The oil often is reflective and really makes the photo look bad. It's a lot easier to get it clean before than to take it out in the aperture. You place the gun evenly as possible on your background. I know this is a weird angle, but I have the Canon set on program mode, which seems to work the best for taking these shots. I know it's a hard angle, but I'm trying, uh, there's not much room to take pictures and shoot this video at the same time. The key is to take number shots. Like I said, the key is to take a number of shots, flip it over, wipe it a little bit more to make sure that all the oil is off, and dust specks because everything shows. In aperture. And now for the second gun, I've thoroughly wiped it off. Again, I'm going to take multiple colors. This provides even more, you have to watch your angles, of a challenge because of the shiny versus the dark matte. Like I said, take a number of pictures. Try to get it as relatively straight as possible, but you can straighten it, of course, in aperture. That's why I like aperture so much. Then the final part, of course, is always to take it, plug it into the computer, and extract the files.
the easiest way to do it, I found, is to take the card and plug it directly into the PC or Mac. With Aperture running, it'll automatically ask you if you want to import your photos. I'm not going to get into teaching you how to use Aperture, but you simply crop it. I usually use the auto fix functions. It makes it look a lot nicer. And there you have it. This is how I make my guns look so good. Thanks for watching. And remember to visit geekswithgunsonline.com or shop.durisco.com and purchase a gun and an ammo tracker to store all these great pictures in. Again, geekswithgunsonline.com or shop.durisco.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.